Hey, what's up, Libra? This is your reading for Sun, Moon, Rising for the bonus reading rest of February. Again, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. This is your bonus reading. Ooh, first card out, the world. So this is a time of completion. It is a time where you should get a journal and notepad and write down all the feelings of wholeness you have. Like what makes you feel whole within yourself? What makes you feel happy? What makes you feel complete? What makes you feel like everything is perfect because those moments don't last very long so it's like you want to embody as much of that energy as you can while it lasts so don't take it for granted knight of wands there is a urgent message coming in it is something like fiery important um to do with your um, desires Maybe a career, maybe um, a lover, but something is happening here in God's name. Maybe it has something to do with your finances because this one's upside down and then this King of Pentacles is up. The King of Pentacles rules his kingdom, whereas this one is like the Four of Pentacles is like a guy who is like financially lacking. He's like kind of greedy. <clears throat> but, um,. <clears throat> Mm. Okay, so you have the Fool with the Five of Cups and Death. So the Fool is like the beginning where Death is like an ending. And then you have this little guy who's close here in the middle, right? And it's like, he's looking at all his cups that are spilled and some of his cups that are up. I think a lot of people like get stuck in between these, in between this beginning and the middle in this right here being like, it's like you're doing your job, but it's like you're not uncovering yourself where it'll be like show like your true personality or who you really are. You're trying to do shit like other people want you to do it instead of doing shit like you want to do it. It's like throw your own creative twist on this shit and start focusing on the cups that are upright instead of the cups that are fell down. Start focusing on the good instead of the bad. Try to transmutate this energy and all these negative feelings into something that's going to be positive and keep you like, um, in an energy that's like the transformational side of death instead of like the oh you're gonna die side of death because like with this death energy it's like you are just changing forms you're not necessarily dying because energy never dies you got two more cards here okay so you have the hermit judgment and the nine of swords so in what areas do we need to almost like go to be by yourself and judge yourself um because whatever it is it's like clearly keeping you up at night um you keep going over these ideas like you keep going over like maybe you're like blaming other people right now for your like problems um maybe you're like putting the shit that you're doing off on somebody else and it's like causing some sort of like weird fight between you and a lover you and a parent or you and somebody like a friend So, don't give them, like, such a hard time. Like, try to judge yourself first and see if like, it's just me that's really starting this. Or is it, like, actually them? And if it's them, just, like, cut them off. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so then you have the Ten of Wands with the Five of Pentacles. So, something's going on with, like, your friends or your family. Because, like, you're carrying, like, their burdens. Like, you're carrying everyone on your back type shit. It's like, this guy has all these, like, sticks. And so he's trying to help everyone reach their destination. And in turn, he's not getting to his destination. So he has, he's out of money. He's out of ideas. He's out of fucking desire or willpower to move forward anymore. Because he's doing everybody's work. So he's pissed. He's feeling, like, literally left out in the cold. He's feeling, like, rugged and ran down. Like, you have to, like, put this load down and, like, take some of these people off your back and figure out what's important to you or these other people. Because if you're not happy, nobody else can be happy. Ooh, the you have the sun? With this Ace of Cups. Um, Eight of Wands and the Empress. So definitely there's going to be like a divine message coming through. It might be an offer of love. It might be an offer of an idea that's going to bring you like happiness or like 
somewhere in the realm of emotions, which it's right beside the sun. So as soon as you lay this shit down, like the sun is going to come out and then the like divine will of heaven is going to give you this idea. Um, with the Empress, she's pretty much at home in her garden. She's happy, she's good, she's loved. She is everything except for when she's turned upside down. It's like a little bit more like, yeah, it's not a bad card, but it's just like, it's like she's making her own rain clouds, I guess. Like she's just being an Eeyore, basically. Like she's just sitting in her like dumpy cloud, like being a bitch or like being a brat. When she, all she has to do is like, do something else which will be fine it's like don't let small things get your mind fucked up like just brush it off and move forward so i'm gonna go ahead and verify like these this death card alongside this judgment and this five of wands and this pentacles energy right there just to see if i can like further help you guys out find anything okay judgment and death Judgment and death and friendliness. Okay, hold on. It says, Yeah, okay. So, first meditate, be blissful, then much love will happen of its own accord. Then being with others is beautiful, and being alone is also beautiful. Then it is simply two. You don't depend on others, and you don't make others depend on you. Then it is always friendship, a friendliness. It never becomes a relationship. It always, um, it is always a relatedness. You relate, but you don't create a marriage. Marriage is out of fear. Related, relatedness is out of love. You relate as long as things are moving beautifully. Um, you share, and if you see in the moment, if you see in that moment has come to depart because your path separates at this crossroad you say goodbye with great gratitude for all that that the other has been to you for all the joys and all the pleasures and all the beautiful moments that you have shared with the other with no misery with no pain you simply separate so with death and judgment it's like mm -hmm. okay so basically there's this like quote by like uh gabriel Alec Gabriel, and he's talking about these like two trees that like grow beside each other but not on top of each other, which is really important. And I'm like, I personally like I just went through this whole relationship where it was like really really good when we didn't put a title on it, but as soon as we put a title on it, then it was like and like ruined it. And so I'm like, this card reminds me of that. It's like we always seem to forget that we don't need to possess other people that we can just chill and things will be good if not better you know what i'm saying so um so definitely um i think that's what this five of pentacles and this ten of wands was too it's like saying like you are carrying somebody else's shit like in this relationship this relationship is making you crazy and it's like time to either let it go and start a new thing with somebody but not necessarily like a relationship do like a friendship and just be ready to do what you want to do and stop letting like, people i think stop letting people shit on your prayer it's like now is the time to be fully in your own power fully love yourself and stop being like a marker basically but all right bye libra i love you bye